Welcome to my scroll along. I got another reaction and uh, I got this from uh, one of my millions of subscribers. They wanted me to react to uh, Eminem versus uh, Slim Shady versus Marshall Mathers from Complex. So uh, let's check that out. All right. Let's get this going. We'll continue to the content. Okay. Somewhere in the, the, the Detroit multiverse. Guess who's back? What the oh, fuck? Back again. <laughs> really? Shady's oh, back. This guy. Tell a friend. You gonna sing the whole song? Guess who's back? <laughs> Hi! My name is Chicka 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 Slim Shady. We know who you are, bro. Bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just from the start, man, guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Guess who's back? I love it, man. You know, and man, oh, this, this is just awesome. Finally, a good use of deep fake. Cool story, but you know why I am. Huh? I'm back because you... Got your nuts tucked so tightly between your legs. Okay, the Jenna will be jealous. And we ain't going out like that. Yo, I got ball sacks tucked. Oh, man. Caitlin, man. Bruce. Man, let's go. What the fuck do you even mean? Marshall, this is an intervention. Dre, Jimmy, and Paul told me you wanted to put out some sort of comeback album and send up the off bat signal. Flying back, then and then and then and then and it. Would you think it was just some sort of coincidence that I popped through that off portal and dropped two D in your poof? All of a sudden, magically Eminem's back on top. This motherfucker, off man. Yup, <laughs> I've been sit for. Yo, Em ain't having it, bro. Oh, he's just. He's had enough with Shady. <sighs> Let's go. In the past, to save our career. To save my career. Save like your 25 career. 25-year career. Yeah. Where I sold like a billion albums. I think I'm doing pretty me. I'm fine. We sold all that shit off my back. If don't get it twisted. Well, for me, you still be wearing that same damn Nike Air hat. You're not off Taylor Swift. With one Air... <laughs> Yo, I'm with Slim Shady on this one, okay? You know, we listen to Infinite. That's like a hip hop classic. But you know what? Without Slim Shady, where would you be, Marshall? Where? Huh? Those billions and billions and billions off of Slim Shady's back. Own it, Marshall. Where did it matter? Mine. Everything that people think of when they think of Eminem is fucking yours truly. From the blonde hair to the middle finger to the up jokes, all of it, me. And if we're being honest, yeah. the music that you've been dropping since I bounced ain't it. Okay. Like for real? When I heard your last ish, what? Thought that ish was up AI. <laughs> really? So a computer? Yo, I want a whole series of this. I want a whole series, a season. This needs to become like a thing, like a full on series of this. Please, can we have this? Please. You can write rap, God? Look, man, no one gets off oh, about your lyrical miracles. You're scaring the hoes. <laughs> people want to be entertained. So you think it's entertaining to just be a good kid and piss people off? Look, man, I've grown up, bro. My fan base has grown up. The world's changed. People are way more sensitive now. Every other week on TikTok, Gen Z discovers you on Monday and cancels me on Tuesday. <sighs> People are so soft right now, bro. And, you know, Eminem is trying to, you know, trying to toe the line. Come on, you know. He's finally listening to Paul. Finally. Say with me now, Marshall. 
I just don't give up. Ah, uh, of course you don't, because you're a fucking cartoon character. You're like Nick oh, Cartman, Family Guy. It's like you. Yo, I literally said this one of my reactions. You know that you know that M is a comedian, and his like real life Cartman. That's like Slim Shady. Eminem thinks the exact same thing. I was on off. Validation. My life can end now. Eminem agrees with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go. You can't be canceled. Look, slut. It's better to get canceled <laughs> saying this shit that I What did you call him? Slim Shady does not discriminate. Yeah. So that's a new use of that word. Everyone can get it. Marshall too. Everyone's thinking but scared to say than it is getting canceled for some bullshit ass balls. Bulls had his bars. Look, man, did you text me after awfully hot coffee pot or not? Yeah, I did. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> I don't know why that's such a funny rhyme, but it's 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 funny and it's memorable. What an awfully hot coffee pot! I think there was this guy who does Eminem imp impersonations. He used that one quite a bit, and it's just hilarious. And what did I tell you? Yeah. You said um. Yeah. You said like I could never like let you down. Well, I fucking lied to you, as if nothing without me. Are you all fucking kidding me? Before I stepped in. I freaking rap like AZ on Prozac. I stand. I wrote stand. And love the way you lie. And congratulations. You wrote the fucking national anthem for stalkers and domestic abusers. Can we get this guy a glad award or something? Well, I just gotta sit here and take this from the motherfucker who wrote fact. I didn't write fact. You wrote fact. No, you wrote. Yo, I hate that song. Like. Uh, like it's exactly what it is okay it it's that song is pulled right out of freaking south park okay yeah it's the dumbest song i ever heard in my life you know and thank god marshall's denouncing that song that's all slim shady's handiwork come on there's no way Marshall had his hand in that. I can't hate the song that much. Mm -mm. Fact. Wasn't me, bro. <laughs> it was in you. In fact, if we'd have called it Richard Gere, like yeah. I said to call it, that bitch would have won Diamond. First of all, we couldn't have called it Richard Gere because we'd have got sued. Second of all, you put it on the Greatest Hits album, so it kind of is Diamond. You're welcome. Not only do we make one of the worst songs ever, yeah, worst songs, but we put okay. it on the greatest hits album. Not only do we put it on the greatest hits album, we made it the first song on the greatest hits album. If that don't take <laughs> balls, what the fuck does, Caitlyn Jenner? Yo, you think everything's a fucking joke? You even understand how hard I work to get us here, man? <laughs> Serious question: When did you start self-identifying as a little? <laughs> Oh, pronoun joke. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Bro, you're so fing cringe, man. Cringe? Yeah. Cringe. What the fuck is cringe? Don't fucking say that ish to me. Man, shut the fuck up. Yo, I got a question. Cringe? <laughs> what the hell is cringe? Yo. It's a new term. People use it now. It's called cringe. Okay. Wait a minute. What's going on? Yeah. 
We're back. If you're the fucking new me, why you so fucking old? First of all, I'm not that fucking old. Second of all, I grew a fucking up here. Third of all, eat a fucking up fat. <laughs> oh man, I'm not that old. Oh, I just grew a beard. I mean, I don't know. It's I don't know for some reason, you know. Like I don't. Who would have thought Eminem could grow a beard? I don't know. Yeah, but I guess the cleft chin is a giveaway. Most people with cleft chins can kind of grow a really big beard. But I don't know. It's just like. It was pretty shocking that he grew a beard, you know? I mean, it's it's like a cheat code. I mean, I can grow a beard to save my life. I mean, it grows, but it sucks. Yeah. Oh, really? What are you going to do, pussy? Me <laughs> off freestyle me to death? Me off battle rap me? Yeah, that'd be battle a rap pace, me. right? When's the last time you Nick took a shot at somebody who wasn't a Nick off pop star, a Nick off non rapping celebrity, Nick off marginalized communities? Nick off say that to me again. Marginalized what? The off you say? I don't even know what the off that means. Using big words around me, mother off. Nick off say that ish to me. Yo, are you just like. Yo. You know, that's a lot of words, you know? That's, that's very big words. You know, you know who likes using big words? The PC police. What does this mean? Is Marshall blue and slim is red and together they're purple? Hmm. Allergic to not being in a sand hole? Yo, I forgot I even had those shoes. Let's talk about the people you dissed. Nick of Lyrical Titans. Nick of Ja Rule. Yeah. Nick of Moby. Not Nick of Fred Moby. Durst. Who else? Christina Aguilera? Who's really punching down? Man, who hurt you? Who hurt what? Who the f is this guy? Yeah. You know, I, I, all jokes aside, I really love this skit because he's clarifying a lot of things. Look at the people he just called out as the ones he dissed, okay? I mean, I've got a list of the real ones that he's gone up against, okay? The the real MCs. And on that list right there, he didn't mention any of them. He's got a category for them, you know? And those ones, I mean, yeah. Everyone knew those were just, you know, throwaways. I love Biscuit, by the way, but you know, not as an MC. Biscuit is, come on, it's a legend. I move in, I move out, come on, man. This will be the one. Come on, this will be the one. Yeah, I'm a fan. Oh, what the, f what do you mean who hurt me? I got hurt, man. Everybody hurt me. My Who mom hurt, hurt you, me. Ab? World hurt me, slim? dog. Oh, Caitlyn Jenner's a man. Oh my god, he's taking all them pills again. Bro, what the fuck? You can't say that. She got tits in it. <laughs> it's it's Nick off 2024, man. Let people live their lives. Tits in it. Oh man, yes. Tell him, Shady. Types. And this shit ain't got nothing to do with you. It's not that Nick off and hard. Just respect whatever people want to be called and keep it moving. Also. What's your Nick off weird obsession with Christopher Reeve? Christopher Reeve with Superman. What are you talking about? I'm trying to pay homage. It's funny. You see, you see, I said this in my reaction again, okay? You see, he's paying homage to freaking Superman. You know, I, I said this. I said this in my... Watch my reactions and subscribe, guys. Jeez. You know? Come on. I'm saying some things here. I know some stuff. I do. I know some stuff. <sighs> hey, 
because he was Nick off Superman. He yep. fell off a horse. But how was that funny, bro? It's not funny. The guy from Nick off fell off a horse. Yeah, he's dead. He's been dead for 20 fucking years, man. Leave him alone. It's 20 years. That's crazy that it's been that long. Is it 20 years? Yeah, it's been a long time. That's crazy. Whatever. And you know it's not Reeves, right? There's no S on it. It's just Reeves. Then why is there an S on his chest? I don't know. I'll what? 20 years and this is what I'm realizing? It's not Christopher Reeves? What? What? I always called him Christopher Reeves. My world has... What? It's Christopher Reeve? That kind of sucks. It shows you how much I, I've been listening to Eminem, okay? Taking his advice on what Christopher Reeve's name actually is. What? No S? S in the chest. That's 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 a bar. Pronouns, bro. I don't know. Whatever, Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. Even your Who's references that? are dated. My references? You still use a Nick off flip phone. Robert Van Winkle? I mean Rip Van Winkle? Whatever. Oh, vanilla ice joke. There it is. Never heard that before. All right, stop. stop. Ice, ice, ice shady. shady. Good vanilla ice joke, bro. It was also a man <laughs> out of time and a beard joke. But whatever. <laughs> Yo, I mean, Vanilla Ice is a legend too. Come on now. To the extreme. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, man. This, this man. This is the coup de gras. This, this belongs in the coup de gras. This, this should come as a box set. This interview should be part of the coup de gras album. The Death of Slim Shady. 110%. Let's go. I don't expect you to get my triple entendres. <laughs> Anyways, talk all this shit about how the world's different or whatever, but all I hear is that you're scared. And the truth is that people yeah. still want me. Bro, you're just doing the same shit you always do. Make the flip up single fake controversial without really offending anyone, and then put all the fucked up shit on the deep cut so that people talk about the album after it drops. Then when they get offended, you get on your poor me victim dish and act off off. Yeah, M, you know what? Slim does kind of do that, you know? When people get offended, he comes through and he says, It ain't nothing but music. Leave me alone. You know? <sighs> but the truth is, I think one of the realest lines M ever said was, I say things that you guys share inside your living rooms, but I ain't got the nuts to say it in public, you know? So I guess that's why people want, want Slim Shady because he kind of exposes that, that, uh, that persona that most of us share with our friends, but we're too scared, you know, to expose publicly. Self-righteous, when everyone's up against me. <laughs> Mr. I don't give a fuck who gives more fucks than the history <laughs> that were ever given. I don't give a fuck. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> That's not what I do. Nick off the tired man. I love it, but remember we made you? You almost killed our career with that one. Are you kidding me? No one told the retarded ass to go record it. And that's the thing, you see, he's just all these songs, bro. All these songs. He's M, you know. Marshall is clearing up his resume. All the songs I literally just don't like. You know? That belong in, in South Park. He's calling him out. You know? Because of, you know... Because of what they are. Not good songs. <laughs> hey, that's my opinion. This is 2024. People are allowed to have their own opinions. All right? That's my opinion. Entire album in off accents. Great man. I was in recovery. Great okay. man. I had to relearn how to rap. And for off what? Have you noticed how the great man, great man? It's it's kind of it has this kind of connection with uh, 
the Jamaican accent and it's also got a bit of a great man it's also like a pirate as well it's kind of like it's like a, a Scottish accent is a I, I don't know there's there's some kind of underlying common thing in it anyway yeah it's worth right. there's an Accents. entire generation of people who think that's a, pl a classic I wouldn't call that relearning the rap that wish was a frisbee, bro. Then he went on a fucking apology tour for like 12 months after that. Apology and then I made tour. our biggest radio record ever without you. You don't get it, do you? No, you were literally was born while I was taking an ish. What? I invented you because my life was fucked up. My music was going nowhere and I was broke. Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> kind of like these reactions I'm doing right now. My life was going nowhere and I was broke. And I became a reactor. Look at me. Work clothes. My work suit. Life going nowhere. <sighs> and I'm broke. And uh, this guy was born. I don't know what I'm going to call him. I'll figure out a name. But uh, yeah. This is how Shadies are born. You didn't fix anything. You actually made that shit worse. <laughs> I couldn't even take a shit in the bathroom without someone standing by it. You're the reason I had to self-medicate. Because uh, you know, I almost lost my up career, my up family, my life. Yeah. I'm sorry, what were you saying? My God, Shady still drinks and pops pills? Man. And he lives inside Marshall's head? Imagine how hard it is for him to stay sober. This is ridiculous. Bro, I'm 16 years sober. What the f***? Oh. 16 years sober, come on, man. Lay back. Life's been great since you've been gone. Yo, is that gin and juice? Oh, that's the plug right there. That's gin and juice. That's gin and juice. It took way, wait, it took way too long for them to release their own. Come on, man. You know, now to think about it. You thought this would have been out like years ago. Duh. You make me I'll sit. But then, you know, I mean... I'm also sober as heck, sober as uh, as a priest. Well, Priests kind of drink too. I'm sober as a as a as Eminem for 16 years. I hate white people. Yo, Paul, can we get out of here? Oh, look who gives a fuck now. It ain't my fault you got no self discipline. What? What is he? What? He just... What, what do you say about hating white people again? Let me play that back. While I was taking an ish... I ish the bathroom without someone standing by it. You're the reason I had to self-medicate. Because you almost lost my career, my family, Opens the my can. life. My life. I'm yeah. sorry, what were you saying? Bro, I'm 16 years sober. What the f***? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Lay back. Life's been great since you've been gone. Yeah. Uh, you make me off sit. I off hate white people. Yo, Paul, can we get out of here? <laughs> oh, look who gives a fuck now. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> Marshall makes him sick. <laughs> he hates white people. Oh my god, because Marshall. Oh my, oh. That is so slim shady. So slim shady right there. <sighs> man. Yeah. yeah man. It ain't my fault you got no self-discipline. No discipline. It's like all these fat people. It's everyone else's fault but yours. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with fault you? but yours. You know that substance abuse has nothing to do with discipline, right? Second of all, you said you said about overweight people is dated. We cured fatness. There's literally a shot for it. It's very popular. Oh, Zempic. Here's got side effects of jealousy. Why are you so mad about making a body positive? <laughs> yo, man, yo, I want a season, a whole series. We should vote. We should, uh, we should campaign. Okay, this needs to be a whole season. This Marshall back and forth with Slim Shady. This needs to be a thing. Something we can watch on Adult Swim and you know what I mean? This is this is golden. Well you're so mad about body positivity. What the fuck is body positivity? Like 
People feel body okay positivity. Oh, you mean fat power? Okay, BBL Slizzy. BBL what? What the fuck are you trying to say? I ran 17 fucking miles a day to get us back in shape. <laughs> I ran 70 miles a day. <laughs> Whoa, BBL, BBL Slizzy? Yo, <sighs> man. Hey, fat boy. You're a fuck mess, bro. MGK fucked your mother. He did. But she's your mother too, so. <laughs> MGK did what? <sighs> Yo, you really need some help, man. Hey, you know what? She's both of our mothers. Yeah, she's both of your mothers. Calm down, Slim. We both made Eminem. He's the best of both of us. And really. Okay, so now that there, there we go. So there's Marshall the man. Then we got Slim Shady the devil. And then we got Eminem. The the, the both of them? Their child? So Marshall and Slim Shady had a baby and that baby's Eminem? You know what I mean. It's not about me or you. It's about him and the fans. Damn. I don't even want to fit it off admit it. Yeah. But Chips if ass is right. It's about Dude, the fans. Out, man. I've done a lot of work on myself. It's drowsy. We're in this together, baby. Let the therapy flow through you. Let My the bad therapy dog. Flow I just through. I sometimes get triggered, man. It's like I'm obviously this rat with imposter syndrome overcompensating with misplaced aggression. I needed this trauma bonding. Yo, yo, this gin and juice got Slim Shady like, you know, letting loose and actually Jim and Juice letting loose. You see my bars, man. You see that's the MC in me, man. I can't help it. It's got him self-reflecting and actually getting real for once. Man, this 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 is crazy. This gin and juice is legit. Forget therapy, get your gin and juice. Let's go. Ish to nick off. Help me protect my peace. Protect my peace. No one understands how nick off toxic it is to always be the bad guy. Don't be so hard on yourself, Snowflake. You're not the bad guy. <laughs> I'm not? Nah, bro. I mean, we all know you Who's mean the well. There'll probably be people picketing outside of our house for the next six months, but other than that, I mean. My my bad, dog. I appreciate you, Marshall. I appreciate you too, bro. I appreciate you, Marshall. Oh man, <laughs> I appreciate you too, bro. Let's it's all go, good, man. It's all good. What's he going to do? Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yo, this is classic face off by Complex, man. Come on, man. Beautiful. Like I said, this is an extension of the Death Death of Slim Shady album. 110%. This is so fun, man. As a fan, bro, this is Come on, man. Come on, man. A whole 12 minutes let's go baby let's go man so that's my reaction i loved it 110 percent thanks to i think it's hank one of my subscribers you guys are legit my numbers are going up like they're really going up through the roof thanks to all my new subscribers man let's go